Hello everyone, I'm Rafael from Nobox Project and today we're gonna see a Java challenge about generics and uh, I'll just share my screen with you. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a brief of this challenge. So basically we are instantiating a class uh, called Simpson Factory and uh, passing a Simpson instance here with the uh, string Homer. And the Simpson factory basically receives a generic type. Um, and then we use this uh, generic type on the list. And then we add um, an element to the Simpson 1 list and Simpson 2 list. Um, in the end, we print those values here. So I'm going to give you some time, and then you can come up with the answer. OK, then let's get the answer. You're right. <laughs> it's been oh, some time. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. So let's see why. Let's, uh, let's debug here. Um, and I will just explain uh, this challenge more deeply. So here we are. Um, basically passing the Simpson type into the constructor. So let's see here. Here or um, here. We, uh, we already have the Simpson type on this uh, key, generic type. So it will work fine. So we'll have Simpson as well because, as we are saying here, that uh, it's a super type. Uh, it's also a Simpson type. So yeah, it will work fine. And then we're gonna um, return um, the Simpson one list. And as we are returning that, we just into the name. So yeah, no tricks on this one. <laughs> no <laughs> tricks. Uh, and uh, you were right. <laughs> so, there, uh, there are lots of great uh, uh, concepts that you put on the code. That that was one great. Was great. Yeah, um, it's important to know that we can pass a generic type in the class. Uh, we can pass a generic type on a list. Um, we could also add generic type in the method. We could add the generic method here. For example, we can put R here. And then we could uh, pass another type here. So there are, there are many things we can do. R, we could change here to R. So generics are a very um, flexible solution when we want to create something generic um, that makes our code um, more um, reusable. So that's it for this challenge. Do you have uh, any question? I'm good. Uh, it's, it's fine for me. It's nice. OK. So I'll just stop sharing my screen here. So that was it for today, guys. And I hope you got value from this challenge. And uh, generics, remember that generics are a very important, um, they are very important concept because you can create uh, one generic class that does the job of uh, thousands of classes. So they are very, very, very powerful. So it's definitely a concept that you should master so that you can create a uh, powerful code and uh, one class that can just replace several uh, other classes. So if you want to know more, you go to numbugsproject.com and that there is a section there uh, called um, Java Dev Gym and then you can um, practice your Java skills. You can take some challenges, they are ranked, so you can go to the top as well. Uh, and if you liked the video, give a like and subscribe 
to the channel so you can help me out to create more challenges. So see you next week.